Um, so I've gotten a lot of feedback, questions, and comments about the ant bait killer. And this year um, at our new house, I had these tiny little ants are crawling through a crack in the window. Now, if you like commercial products, the Tarot Ant Bait and Killer is really good. It's basically a syrup of sugar um, and poison. So I am using up, I've got my old um, honey container from last year. It's just about gone and it's crystallized. So you can microwave this to dissolve it and use it. Or uh, I'm making my ant killer out of it today. So I've got two cups of hot water and there's probably about maybe a half a cup of honey in the container that's crystallized. Now you're going to want to keep this away from the kids, label it, lock it up, because when it's done, it looks a lot like an Arizona iced tea. And I have left comments about this. Now I'm just putting a couple of tablespoons of borax in with it. And this isn't a measured out kind of recipe thing. It's just something that I tried and found that it worked. I liked it better than the powdered sugar because the powdered sugar, um, if you've ever made frosting or icing with it, hardens down. Oh yeah, we're leaking all over the counter. So we're gonna make sure we clean that really good afterwards, which we're about ready to actually head out for the afternoon. So I wanted to make sure that we had a fresh batch of ant killer. Now you could do this just a couple of tablespoons at a time. And what I like to do is to put this on, um, depending on how thick you make it, if you make it a little less liquid, you could just put it on a piece of cardboard and set it out throughout the house wherever um, your ants are coming in or hiding. Um, I like to put it in milk caps and set the milk caps or pot bottle caps. And I found that um, the little bit of sugar that's left on the pot caps helps bait them more. Um, so they get a little bit of that and then they get a little bit of this and they die. Now they have to eat it to die. You can also spray it on ant hills um, and around the house, but I like to just bait it. So this is my third concoction for ant killer. And um, I like it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, the jelly got kind of hard and gooey. Um, and like I said, the powder sugar got really, really hard and this stays pretty fluid and liquid. So depending on how you like it, try it, leave your comments, ask me questions. Happy ant killing.